since 2022, an uptick in the number of uh, falsifications we have seen on applications. And the reason that we're finding this now is that we've had to purchase something called Wrapback. Wrapback is similar to a background check, but takes a closer look into the qualifications of the applicant, like which subjects they have experience in or any disciplinary action in the past. And we're finding that people were not always completely truthful. In 2022, more than 19,000 applications for a substitute teaching license or renewal were flagged for falsifying qualifications. That's up over 11,000 compared to 2013. There is some concern about teachers who might be in tested subjects who may not necessarily have the coursework. Um, and content knowledge is important. Brad Smith is a field representative with Cincinnati Federation of Teachers and sits on the credentialing board, which reviews the flagged applications. Statewide in 2022, 257 applications were flagged for falsifications. 614 were flagged for lying about their criminal history. So how does this all trickle back to the classroom? Since the pandemic and the lot amount of teachers that have left the profession, we are filling full-time positions with substitutes. So that means there's a substitute in this classroom and it could be there for six weeks, three months, six months. It could be there for the entire year. Katie Hoffman, who serves on the Ohio State Board of Education for District 4, says it's going to fall on local human resource departments to carefully review a substitute teacher's qualifications. There seems to be an idea that just a warm body in the classroom is acceptable. Well, it's not because if you don't know your content, it's going to affect our children's growth and achievement. And I mentioned another concern is this law going into effect in December, and it's about reciprocity, meaning that a teacher in another state can transfer their teaching or substitute teaching license here to Ohio without having to go through that process again of having to go through the background check. And so that means if another state might have missed a lack of qualifications, that means that that teacher could end up in a classroom here in Ohio. Live tonight, Lindsay Stone, WWT News 5. Lindsay, thanks so much. We'll